A bit of breaking news here. As Neera Tanden, Joe Biden's pick to be OMB director, is out. She has withdrawn her nomination, and everybody is rejoicing. Now, I've covered Neera Tanden quite a bit over the past few months since she's been nominated. I'm not going to go over all the BS again, but I just want to say up front, this is not about her tweets. Every single article I am reading saying, well, the reason that she couldn't get the votes is because of her tweets. I mean... I guess that's what Joe Manchin was saying, but that isn't the reason why the left was opposed to Neera Tandon. So, yes, Republicans opposed to her. They're going to use any excuse they can. Of course, they're going to use her tweets as the excuse. Joe Manchin, same thing. He needs to appear to be this this centrist, moderate guy, so he's going to reject at least one of Joe Biden's uh, uh, nominees. But the reason why people like Bernie Sanders and the left at, at large were against Neera Tandon is because of how she has run her career, how she ran the Center for American Progress, being a corporate think tank while pretending to be a progressive. That is the main issue. So before anybody <laughs> that doesn't know anything at all about this nomination comments below about Neera Tandon and tweets, nothing to do with her tweets. I don't care about her tweets. But here is the letter sent out um, by the White House, statement by President Joe Biden and nominee for uh, Director of the Office of Management, uh, Neera Tandon. Joe Biden just saying he's accepted Neera Tandon's request to withdraw her name, blah, blah, blah. Um, Neera Tandon in her letter saying, in part, I appreciate how, how hard you and your team at the White House has worked to win my confirmation. Unfortunately, it now seems clear that there is no path forward to gain confirmation, I, and I do not want continued consideration of my nomination to be a distraction from your other priorities. Whatever happened behind the scenes, um, I'm sure she was at some point was asked to, to okay, it's time for you to go. <laughs> Write up a letter so we can, so it, it looks better on you, and then we're going to let you out of this. So uh, I think that's that's ultimately what happened here. But regardless, great news, she's gone. Um Bernie Sanders was asked about Neera Tandon <laughs> right before this happened. So he was on with uh, Wolf Blitzer on CNN and check out what he said. Very quickly, have you made up your mind on whether to confirm Neera Tandon? Well, right now, Neera Tandon does not have the votes. So we will see what happens uh, in the future. Well, where do you stand? Well, I will make that decision when the vote takes place. All right. There you go. <laughs> I feel like Bernie at this point likely knew it wasn't going to go forward so he didn't want to take a position publicly either way um and smart of him to do so sitting out of it and allowing this process to uh unfold the way it did an example here of how these articles are all treating the story Neera Tannen withdraws her nomination to head white house budget office amid bipartisan opposition over tweets not at all <laughs> the issue yes Whatever. I'm not going to go over the same thing I just said, but not the issue. But this is how all the the uh, reports are, are writing this. David Sirota here correctly pointing out the reason to calibrate. Sorry, <laughs> calibrate the reason to celebrate the end. of. <laughs> I don't know where calibrate came from. The reason to celebrate the end of Neera Tana's nomination has nothing to do with her late night out of control rage tweeting and everything to do with her record. She is not a victim. She is a perpetrator. Yes. Thank you. Exactly. David wrote his article on here. Uh, again, I looked to all these sources below the video. You can read through his Guardian article if you want an actual breakdown or watch one of my previous videos breaking it down. But um, not at all to do with the tweets. Now, who will replace her? Who might replace Neera Tandon as OMB director? Uh, Shalanda Young is one of the names being floated. Um, uh, let me just say, uh, before I even get to any of these names, none of the names I've read are worse than Neera Tandon. <laughs> so... <laughs> This has really been just a, a perfect scenario where Neera pushed out Joe Manchin using tweets as an excuse uh, or as his reasoning anyways. I don't care. Whatever the reasoning is, no longer nominee. And now uh, at least two pot potential options here that are not any worse than Neera Tandon, if not maybe a little better. So uh, Shalanda Young, who is a longtime congressional aide to replace Neera Tandon um, or may replace Neera Tandon. So that's somebody who is being uh, floated right now. And everything I've read about this person, uh, there isn't all that much known about her. Uh, I mean, not much written about her yet, really. But um, doesn't seem to be uh, really anything horrible. Another potential option here is uh, Gene Sperling. So I believe I brought up Gene Sperling before. He is somebody who um, 
uh, is a veteran of the the Clinton and Obama era and has actually become more progressive over time, as uh, the American Prospect writes here. This is from Robert uh, Kuttner. Sperling has become more of a progressive since leaving office. His 2020 book, Economic Dignity, helps offset some youthful indiscretions of the Clinton years, such as his work on the 97 Balanced Budget Act. Most progressives would applaud, but he is just orthodox enough to win easy confirmation. He'd round out a progressive senior economic team. And Zephyr Teachout giving him the thumbs up here, saying Sperling is a pro-worker, anti-monopolist. So two potentially fine choices. Um, Awesome. (laughs) So I don't know. This is just this is a great piece of news. Uh, you can tell I'm pretty happy about it. I'm really glad Nira Tannen is uh, is out, and we'll see what happens from here.